We are looking at a nice evening outside. You can't really tell, but it is cold outside. We do have temperatures already back into the 30s. You can tell, though, it is windy. If you take a look at the flag at the top uh, left corner of your screen there, we are still looking at wind gusts at about 30 miles per hour, and we're going to keep it windy through the remainder of this evening. And as we move into the first parts of tonight, looks like there's a lot of snow across the area, but no, we are looking at quite a few flurries across the area, which are not sticking to the ground. I do not expect any snow to accumulate, but but we're still making it feel a little bit more festive out there tonight. As we move into the overnight hours, though, the flurries are going to end. The clouds are also going to clear out, which again is great viewing weather, but you got to stay up really late or you got to wake up really early tonight to see the deep partial lunar eclipse. I'll have more on that coming up on TMJ4 News at 6. By 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, mostly sunny skies, but the clouds roll right back on in. Much like today, we'll end the day with mostly cloudy skies across the area, but tomorrow we will be dry. Winds will be lighter, which should make it feel a bit warmer, but unfortunately temperatures really aren't going to climb until we move into this weekend. Tonight we're going to fall to 24 degrees towards the lakefront. A few spots inland will also be into the low 20s. We'll have gusts around about 30 miles per hour early and then winds will become lighter by the early morning hour. So by early in terms of those wind gusts, we're talking about one or two o'clock in the morning. As we get into tomorrow, looking at increasing clouds, temperatures will top out near 40 degrees, going about 37 in Milwaukee. So again, an overall chilly day. Your seven day forecast dropping to 32 as we move into Friday night, early Saturday morning. As we get into the afternoon, 48 degrees. So warmer temperatures this weekend. We are dry still on Saturday, and then as we get into Sunday, we're watching a storm system that is going to kind of get its act together as we move into Sunday and Monday. The question is how fast will it form? The quicker it forms, the better chance we have to see rain and potentially some measurable snow as we get into Monday morning. But if it takes a little bit longer, which is what most of the models are indicating, really not expecting much, but keep an eye on that as we start next week. I know it's a short, shortened week for many. We will have a chance for a wintry mix again coming late Wednesday, but good travel weather Tuesday and then also on Thanksgiving there on Thursday with a high of 43. We'll be right back.